We are the Johnson family, um, Mark and Molly, and we have a daughter, Annie, who is 11, and we have a little boy, Billy, who is eight. We live in Denver, North Carolina, which is right outside of Charlotte. When I was 20 weeks pregnant with Billy, they found um, heterotaxy, which means that Billy's internal organs were not forming in the expected places. His heart had four complex congenital defects, very complex. When we chose to come to, to Eggleston, they set us up with the Ronald McDonald House. Billy had surgery at 25 hours of age. The surgery didn't work. We listed for a heart. We got the heart in about a day. Billy was named for my dad who died of a brain tumor, and Billy got the heart on my dad's birthday. After the surgery, I will never forget this doctor jumping up and down, clapping her hands, going, it's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect. It's a perfect heart. And to think about the donor family who had just lost their baby so that our baby could live was, um, is still really hard to swallow. He's, it's still perfect. So he's eight and that heart is still perfect. We stayed here for three months till we got Billy stable. We got to take Billy home. And then around two, we noticed his kidney numbers really going bad. He had picked up a virus. And the virus destroyed his kidneys before we could get it fully diagnosed. So we had to come back down here when he was four and he, mom gave him a kidney transplant. I was also recovering from major surgery because I was the donor. As long as we were in clinic twice a week, we just stayed here, Billy and I did. When your kid's in the hospital and you need a place to stay, you get some sleep, you eat, you decompress. But that's the thing I will always remember is probably on my deathbed, that was the best days of our lives. You didn't worry about nothing. You just get down there, Ronald took care of everything. loves coming to Ronald's house, and he knows everybody's name, and he loves coming to see Miss Kay. He loves it here. He loves it here. From what I understand, we're one of about 47,000 families that have needed this service. I'm one family that has spent somewhere between 400 to 500 nights in the last eight years at this house. I don't have to worry about the lodging. I don't have to worry about the, the food. I got enough to worry about with the medical bills. Billy's been through $2.7 million in medical bills over eight years. I can't imagine having to come to Atlanta without knowing that Ronald McDonald House is here. Knowing that Billy is gonna be happy when he's here and it's not a big deal to have to come here for medical treatment. You can't put a dollar sign on, on it. I don't know how you thank your parents. To a certain extent, that's what it is. It's a family, it's a home. There, there's my mom's house, and there's the Ronald's house. And in my mind, in a certain way, they're the same thing. And that may be the best compliment I could ever give somebody, or, or to say to somebody, that's what you mean in our life.